Welcome back, everybody. There's the big groundbreaking last week. Some homeless St. Louis area veterans are about to discover that good things come in small packages, or in this case, a new tiny house community just for them. I'm pleased to have Adam McBride joining us. He's the executive director of the Veterans Community Project. Adam, thanks so much for coming in. I love this idea. It started in Kansas City, you say? It did. It started, uh, we were founded by combat veterans in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, all of them, um, so when they came back, when they were searching for services, they found that it wasn't uh, the easiest process to navigate. And so over the course of time, uh, they sort of found each other and um, said, we need to do something, let's do something. And they developed a plan and Veterans Community Project is the plan that they came up with. I know that they built one of these small communities in uh, Colorado as well, is that right? Yeah, we do have a village being constructed as we are here in St. Louis and Colorado. And we're looking at it like an artistic uh, look at some of these and they're small, you're gonna have about 50 homes. These are, this is in the Jeff Vanderloo neighborhood? That's correct. And, and how's Grand. it funded? So we are uh, primarily privately funded. So okay. we thrive off corporate, uh, foundational, and individual donations. So 50 small, tiny houses is the term. Mm -hmm. How many people so far have stepped forward who want to live in them? Who want to live in them, so that list is continuing to grow. So it is growing. It is. Yeah. It, that list is continuing to grow. And, and, and the, the ideal candidate for this, give me an example. Uh, so it, it's really a question that I can't answer, John. Okay. Uh, the ideal candidate would come in, in 50 to 150 different ways um, to find, uh, A, to find themselves in a position of being housing insecure or street homeless. Um, and so um, every, every pathway that, that any individual that would be a candidate for our village is so different, I, I wouldn't know where to begin to answer that. For but it's me. also hooked up with the veterans outreach on, on Grand Avenue. So if there's like a chemical dependency type of thing, I mean, there's, there are counselors who help them as well. Yeah, so it, the way I like to explain our village is that it's really a two-pronged approach. We have the 50 tiny houses we'll be building on site, fully functional homes that are trauma-informed, full kitchens, full baths, about 240 square feet for our single units. So we're building 50 of those. In addition to those, we are building a community center in the rear of the property, west of Spring Avenue. Oh, that's even closer, that's fantastic. Yeah, so the case managers that each individual resident will have will operate directly on site out of the community center. And does somebody living there, do they, do they pay into this? What? No, it's completely free of charge. It's all gratis, okay. Yeah, and so the second prong of our approach though is the outreach center that you talked about. It doesn't get nearly as much fanfare as the tiny houses. Um, it's a lot uh, more of a catchier sort of uh, model. But the outreach center is designed in part to prevent any area veteran who experiences any sort of need from finding themselves as being an applicant for the village itself. Fantastic. Is this a, this is a temporary thing though, is it not? It is transitional housing. Uh, pre prior to the pandemic, we averaged roughly about 10 months, around 300 days was the average length of stay for one of our veterans that, that resided in our village in Kansas City. Um, pandemic made that number a little larger with lack of opportunity um, and, and jobs for a bit, but we fully anticipate if or when the pandemic starts to slowly wane that we'll get back closer to that 300 number. And these houses will be completed by, what's the date? So our construction timeline is we'll, we begin site work this month. Okay. Um, we plan to go vertical in spring of 2022. So that's the part that everybody loves when you start to see the village. Oh, everybody will show up then. Up. Yeah. And then our, our current timeline is to start to house veterans in the St. Louis area prior to the winter, uh, harsh winter weather at the end of next year. Adam McBride, thanks so much for coming in. It's Veterans Community Project, great shirt there. If you want more information, we have it on our website at fox2now.com. Say hi to Rebecca for me, my cousin. She's worth Hi, Rebecca. Rebecca Tallman. We'll be right back.